In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to password protect Excel files. This is one of the easiest and fastest ways that I found. And not only will it password protect them, but it gives you the option to also hide them from being viewed anywhere on your computer except throughout except in the software itself. And so here's the software you can see up here I did buy it. It is, it is a registered copy. And if you want to download a free trial of it, you can here at this website. It's called lockmyfolder.com. The link is underneath the video in the description also. If you click on it, it'll take you straight to this page where you can come up here, click this green button for the uh, free download, and that'll give you the trial version, which still gives you access to some of the features of it. And I believe there's a time limit on it as well, but the full version does cost $39.95. Now here's the software and it works, the way it works is you've got three different ways you can password protect a file, a folder, um, video, it really doesn't matter what it is, you, you can password protect it. Um, you can select to encrypt file up here or if it's a folder you can do a folder. Uh, you can drop and drag anywhere in this area or you can right click on the folder or file and it will give you the option to encrypt it from there. So from here I'm just going to do encrypt file. You can see I have an Excel document here. I'm going to click on it and open it. And it's asking me what password I want to use to encrypt it with. And I'm just going to use something really simple. And then you get to choose what level of strength you want to uh, encrypt it with. You got normal, high, and then fastest, which is 256 bit, which is like a military grade. Um, so chances of someone actually viewing, viewing it is not going to be able to get access to it. And then you got the local mode and hidden. Basically, what this means is if you select hidden, then wherever that file is at on your computer, you're not going to be able to see it. It's going to be hidden. The only place it's going to be viewed is right here within the software, and then you also have to know the password to see it. So I'm just going to keep it on local and click encrypt. And now you can see the file's been encrypted, it's been added to the software. Let me minimize this. And here's the folder. I'm going to open it up. You can see the file now has a lock beside of it, which means that it's been encrypted. And so if I try to double or open it, it's going to ask me for what, what the password is. Obviously, if you don't know the password, you're not going to be able to get access to the Excel file. And so then you got the mode temporary and complete, or browse temporary and complete. And what this means is that if I select browse, um, that just means that as soon as I get done browsing it and close it, it's going to password protect it again. If I choose temporary, it's going to open the file, and then when I, before I close it, it's going to ask me if I want the password protected or just keep it um, uh, unlocked. And then there's complete, and what this does is completely unlocks it from being password protected. And so if you want to password protect it again, you'd obviously have to uh, go through the process again. So there you can see we just unlocked it, and now it's accessible again. And so really, that's how easy the software is to use. There are some other features to it. Uh, it also has a file shredder, which allows you to permanently and delete uh, files. You can even password or password protect your whole drive so where they are hidden and not accessible. And then they have um, restore. Restore Center allows registered users to reset password for file folder encrypted with normal strength. Um, it has some additional settings. Here you can select default skins, you can add the right click options to encrypt and shred files, you can choose different icons that will allow you to see which files have been uh, password protected. And then you also have the option to password protect the software itself so nobody can open up the software and see what files have been password protected. And then you got your uh, usual updates tab. And so that's all there is to it. So if you want to check it out, if you want to get your own copy of it or even try it first, come here to lockmyfolder.com and you can download the free version. Um, I certainly haven't had any problems with it interfering with any other software. It runs really easy, really smooth. It's really fast and it, uh, it encrypts very well.